Hi, I'm Maya Rose Craig and I'm an 18 year old environmental campaigner and activist. I'm also a bird watcher and I blog under the name of Bird Girl, which I've been doing for about six years now. I've been bird watching all of my life, literally, my parents have been taking me out since I was a baby, but I contribute part of that to my older sister who was also a bird watcher and a massive role model for me growing up. But because I've always been bird watching, I have an incredibly strong connection to nature which is a really important part of my life and I've always felt the need to fight for the environment and fight for nature and biodiversity. Through my blog, Bird Girl, I never expected anyone to read it, but I was given a massive platform. And when more and more people started to read my blog, started to follow me on social media, I decided that I wanted to do some good with that. I wanted to create positive change. I started campaigning about all of the issues that I cared about and trying to either raise funds, raise awareness, or just help in some shape or form. And over and over again, I started contributing positively to these issues. Um, I was really young, I was 12 at the time, and I had no idea what I was doing, but I just wanted to do some good, and I did, and it wasn't about knowing what I was doing or anything like that, it was literally just being stubborn and trying my best, and it worked, and that's all it takes a lot of the time. My big project, which I've been doing for about five years now, is all about diversity in nature, in the kinds of people going out into nature. I started my project when I was 13 years old and again I had no idea what I was doing, I'd never run a project, I'd never started an organisation but again I knew I wanted to create positive change and I knew that because no one else was talking about this issue I had to, I felt a responsibility um, and so I started to and even though it was really difficult and it was a massive learning curve um, I have been doing this campaign for about five years now and I've created massive change. I've managed to shift an entire sector and its attitudes towards diversity. I've started conversations in the environmental and climate change movement and the change is still happening. And the lesson of it all isn't really that you need a massive platform online or you need to start a blog or anything like that. It's literally just if you try hard enough, if you care enough, about an issue, you should try and create change because a lot of the time you'll succeed. My campaign for diversity in the environmental sector has involved loads of things. I've started an organisation called Black to Nature, which I've been running since I was 14, which has done loads of campaigning within the nature sector and worked, worked with loads of really big organisations like Natural England, the Wildlife Trust and the RSPB. But I've also been running nature camps since I was 14. And this is the bit that was scariest when I was younger because I'd never done anything like it before. And when I started, it felt like it was a bit of a disaster, it felt like it was a bit of a mess um, and I was just terrified and then I, you know, I, I was in too deep, I felt like I couldn't stop at that point so I just carried on pushing, carried on trying and after a few days on that first camp it all started to work out um, and personally I think that, um, you know, diversity and the types of people going out into the countryside, having that opportunity, working in the nature sector is so important um, because of mental and physical health, because of, um, you know, we need to have different voices contributing to the environmental movement. We're on the edge of an environmental crisis at the moment. But also because people don't deserve to be left out of areas, out of groups. Because people deserve to have the opportunity to go out into green spaces. And as someone who's half Bangladeshi and had had those opportunities growing up, I felt it was so important. And as someone who is half Bangladeshi, I also care massively about the issue of climate change. Bangladesh is one of the worst affected countries in the world in terms of climate change at the moment and people including my own family are suffering majorly. I've been campaigning on the subject of global climate justice for years now, which is basically talking about how the West has created climate change and we're palming off all of the hurt, all of the suffering and difficulties onto people in the global south, particularly people with very little resources and very little money. And I think it's so important personally to remember the human side of these environmental issues, which is what my campaigning's been all about. But my campaigning has also led me to some very exciting places. Only last month I was up in the Arctic with Greenpeace doing campaigning on climate change and biodiversity loss. 
As the Arctic melts, massive new swathes of oceans opened up that have no protection, where people want to do fishing and mining and other terrible human activities that will harm the animals. And we were fighting to protect these areas. But I also went up there to do the world's most northerly youth climate strike ever to try and make an impact and to try and, I suppose, make a statement to show that despite everything, the youth aren't going to be quiet about climate change. We're still, we still care and we still want positive change in the right direction. And it spread in a way that I had never imagined. I didn't think that newspapers all over the world were going to pick it up. I just knew that I wanted to make a statement. And that was all that mattered, really. The most important message to take away from this is that no matter how big or small the issue is, it's so important that you try and create positive change. All you have to remember is the good old saying, if not now, when, or if not me, who? I think it's young people's responsibility to try and make the world that we're going to inherit a better place. So go out there and create the change that you want to see.